Well, so welcome to the Mendota Ranch. So today um, it's pretty cold outside and pretty windy. So the one project I was needing to work on today, or actually probably a month ago, um, we weaned a colt and I haven't got my hands on this colt yet. And so I kind of need to get a halter on this colt, start getting, kind of start getting him where I can get some, my hands on him. Uh, number one, to get, you know, we need to warm him and vaccinate him and stuff like that. So. I just thought I'd tag you all along and let you show you just kind of how we start these colts, uh, getting getting them caught and getting a halter on them. Um, he seems he seems pretty gentle, but I haven't got my hands on him yet. He does have a big story to him, so I'll tell that story. Let me get him in here in the round pen and uh, tell that story. Let's see. I need a flag. I got a flag over here. A halter. I set this round pin up in, the, in my indoor arena. And then the colts, we put the colts down here on these end stalls. We put a panel up, block the gate, and then I'll run the colts into the round pin. So we've got to get this colt into the round pin. So that's going to be the hardest part. We get him out of the stall and get him onto the concrete and then get him down and into the round pin. So this is kind of the trickiest spot right here. So we'll see what we can do. Try to do it gently. And get. We don't need you. Easy, easy, bub. Easy. Nice and slow here. So anyways, I just take it slow. And then I always, anytime you're moving a horse around, just go slow and easy. Or, you know what, once they get to the spot, get the gate on them. But I usually just go nice and slow, shut the gates behind me, and then there's no reason, I mean, we got all day. There's no reason to get all in a hurry here. So I'll let him find the fence here. Make sure he knows where all the fences are. I don't want him to hit anything. So the idea is we got to get him tired. He's got to get fresh. We got to get fresh out of him. Getting pretty tired here, and and at the same time, I'm teaching him to move away from me. He's pretty jacked up. He'll settle down here in a minute. So y'all might remember this colt. So this colt was born on uh, Easter, on Easter. I mean, was that Sunday? Maybe it was Easter Sunday. I mean, it was, it was Easter. And he's out of my stallion, uh, CD Reloaded, and out of Playboy's Ruby, which is my favorite mare. Playboy's Ruby is a clone, is, is Ruby too, so it was, it was a clone of Playboy's Ruby. Hey. And unfortunately, the summer she died. So that was a bad deal. Hey. And if you remember her, we'll put, we'll put a link up to the video. She had this colt and she had to retain placenta. And we did, we put a video of me removing the placenta and we got the placenta out, um, all good. And then got her bred back. Then, um, I don't know, it's just, I don't, we don't, I, I really don't know what happened to her, but she was, she was turned out with this guy and there's a thunderstorm that night. And I don't think she got struck by lightning, but when I went for my run that morning, she was just laying out there dead, like she just fell over dead. And so then the other mares, there's two other mares with them. They adopted this colt. This colt was almost three months old. And so they adopted this colt and they, they raised this colt as their own for Ruby. But we, we really hated losing Ruby because she's really our best horse. She was only 16 and she was a really good horse. I'm, I'm really taking it easy at this colt here because I really want, I mean, this is my last one out of that mare. So 
I'd really like for him to turn out to be a really good horse and last me a long time. We need to think of a name for him. So he's born on Easter Sunday. He's out of Ruby 2, out of CD Reloaded. It's a, he's a stallion right now. He, I, of course, we'll gild him. So we'll, I don't know, we think of a neat thing now. I think we need to think of a name for him, so. I'm gonna catch him on the first loop. He's really a good looking horse, isn't he? This will take a little while. It's all right. That's what I'm after. I, just, he, I need him to just start facing me a little bit. That's where the rope comes in handy. And he'll eventually, he'll eventually figure out that I'm a, I'm a good place to be. And anytime he peels out, then I'll just kind of send him a little bit, make him work for it, you know? Just know this is good. Away from me is not good. And if he peels off, like, you know, if he runs off, I'll run him a time or two, but at some point I'm gonna grab him and say, come back here, come back here, come back here. But if he ever gets, if he gets the angle on me, then I'll quit. Like right there, he's got the angle on me, I'm gonna send him. So if I can't make it happen, I'm not gonna do it. Bail, would you quit biting at my horse? And you don't want to just sit there and hold him. You want to jerk, jerk. You don't want to be a nag. Nobody likes a freaking nag. So you want to just say, come here. And I'm, I, don't mean, I don't mean like come here tomorrow, come here sometime today. I'm not going to count to three. It's like come here right freaking now. And that's the way horses learn. It's easy. We're, we're making progress. I mean, we've been in here, what, 10 minutes now? And I might not get a halter on him today. I don't know. It just, we'll see. Let's go. He's going to get tired of running around in circle. I'm sure I get a lot of comments. People say, hey, you know, you ought to imprint them thing all, you know, that's when you catch them when they're caught. We don't, I don't imprint. Makes them like a pet. I don't want a pet. I want a freaking horse. I got a dog if I want a pet. These horses need to be about half ass scared of me so that whenever I, you know, when I ask them to do something, I get some respect back. That's the way I like them. And, and I'm the one riding them, so that's the way I'm gonna make them. All right. We're gonna be best buddies, you just don't know it yet. Running around this old deep sand gonna make you tired. I'm not that bad. You don't wanna leave, you gotta run if you leave. If you stay with me, you're gonna have to run. Now, you sound like you're already tired.
So I get a lot of comments on uh, people asking like on my freaking clothes. It's kind of weird. It's like, what kind of pants you wear? Well, these pants here are um, cool. So the cool pants, I think you spell it K-U-H-L maybe. Or maybe I got that wrong. This is kind of spelled wrong, spelled weird, weird, but cool is what these pants are. These are the, I think these are the riders. So I like them because they got a, a knee, the knee cut out where you, like when you're riding a horse, it's already, it's, it's cut out for your knee and uh, they actually fit me. The problem with Wranglers and crap, they don't, I can't get my legs in them. And I, I got a small waist, so I got like a 28 inch waist but apparently I got big legs for a 28 inch waist person. So that's why I like these. That's why I like these cool pants. They're pretty good. What else they asked me? Oh, my hat. So the, my, my, they said, what kind of hat you got? So my hat's an American hat. And if for your people that don't know how hats work, you just go buy the hat that fits your head, but then you shape it. So you crease it however, you, whatever your style is. And this is my style. I, I put a crease in it here. People ask about what, what's this little deal on top of my crown? That's so whenever, so whenever you're really doing something pretty wild, like maybe you're riding, a, you know, you're going fast or it's really windy, you can screw it down on your head. You can, so you can, you can reach up here and pull it down. And it gives room for your head on top of your hat. You know what we need to do? We need to do another giveaway. I was like, these spurs are Kerry Kelly spurs, and they've got. I don't know what, they got some kind of a bug on the outside of them. I, the only reason I bought them because I was after, I like the shank and the rowel. I've wore the rowel out and it's about time to put a new pin in there. So they're, you know, they're getting wore out. We ought, to, we ought to do like a giveaway. So like some kind of a spur giveaway. We need to think of some kind of contest to get these and whoever wins it can win these spurs or something. No, no, no. Anytime you're working with a horse, I don't care what you're doing, you, whatever training you're doing, you always look for a good a good place to quit. And to me, to me, this is a good this is a really good place here because I mean he really locked on to me, and we went we went we made a complete 180 here because we we went from him running. I've never touched him in my life to within 20 minutes here we're making friends, and I don't want to quit on a bad note. You know what I mean? I just want to quit at a, in a good spot here. And I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll get back to him here in a, tomorrow or next day and he'll be that much better. But the whole point is, is maybe today's not the day we're going to put a halter on him. I mean, I feel like we've really, all of a sudden something clicked in his head and he decided I'm not that bad of a guy. I'm, I'm rubbing all over him. And I actually, I actually just want to leave here him wanting, you know, him wanting more, you know, him not, not, you know, he decided maybe he likes me now. And so I want him to be, go home, think about it and say, hey, um, I'd like to hang out with that guy again. I'm not even going to try to pet him again because I don't want him to. I'm just gonna walk away. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna open the gate up and let him go back to the stall. That's a pretty good spot there. Well, I don't know. I mean, I was planning on getting a halter on him today, but we, we went from way over here to way over here within a, you know, a 30 second span. And I thought it was good. So I just, I just made the calls like, you know what? Anytime I'm working a horse or doing or a dog or anything else, when you get that moment, it's like, okay, this is we're at a we've made a big step, and we're in a good spot to quit. It's like just quit, let him go home, let him soak and thinking about it, and then tomorrow, 
you might be, you won't take you very long to get back to that spot and then you take them a few more steps so i'm pretty happy about it i thought i thought he really i mean from a horse i've never touched before within i don't know 20 minutes here he was rubbing all over me and being sweet so i'm like yeah i'm gonna quit there so all right we'll keep i'll keep working on this we'll keep making videos of this guy but that's all i know to do today so thanks for following thanks for subscribing don't forget get to hit the thumbs up we'll see y'all next week